Do you do cross-border text data mining research? Our LLTDMX team is looking to compensate 10 U.S.-based humanities or social science researchers with up to $800 to discuss with us the legal and ethical issues they face or will face when conducting their text data mining research. And not just any text data mining research, but specifically any text data mining studies that have caused or would cause you to face a cross-border law or ethics issue. So this brief video will help you understand what we mean by cross-border text data mining legal or ethical issues, so you can determine if you or your research fit into our project scope. Here's how to figure out if we're talking about you. Imagine you are a U.S. researcher studying the effects of harassing speech within Twitter posts and then seeking to share the, the tweet data sets to encourage research reproducibility. We explain elsewhere in our Guide to TDM Legal Issues that any such researcher would need to address four key issues. Copyright, so for instance, are the posts protected by copyright and does an exception like fair use enable TDM regardless? Contracts, do social media websites impose terms of use? Do such website agreements override copyright exceptions? Privacy. Do the posts reveal information that inf infringes upon federal or state privacy rights of the people being described in the posts? Or is republishing the data a further violation of privacy? And finally, ethics. So could downloading and recirculating the content exacerbate harm to the subjects of the posts? The copyright, contracts, privacy, and ethical issues that TDM scholars must navigate can be considered legal literacies for text data mining, or LLTDM. There are three variations on this scenario that fit into the cross-border context we're looking to study. First, maybe you want to mine a data set that is located in or licensed to you through another country. So imagine that instead of pulling tweets, you're using a collection of archival or to be digitized letters that are located in say a UK library or a UK library or publisher has provided you or your institution with a license agreement governing your use of the letters. Well, with respect to copyright law, the UK prohibits contractual terms that override fair dealing rights or what we call fair use rights in the US. And this would mean that the license agreement they give you can't take away your TDM rights if you are working within the UK. But in the US, contracts can prohibit TDM, even though conducting TDM is a fair use under copyright law. So whose contracts or copyright law applies to the UK located collection that you want to use? In this scenario, you face cross-border LLTDM issues because there are questions of which country's laws apply to your research and how other countries' laws do or do not affect what you're studying. Alternatively, maybe you want to mine content created by people in another country. Maybe your data set of harassing speech is comprised of emails exchanged between individuals in South Africa. And South Africa has different privacy laws governing use and disclosure of personal information than the U.S. does. South African citizens may also have different privacy expectations or ethical conceptions of what privacy regulates, regardless of what the law actually is. In this case, you, you also face cross-border LLTDM issues because you may need to address the intersection of another country's privacy laws or ethical standards. How might concerns about another country's laws or ethics affect your TDM research? Finally, maybe you have a data set that you're working on in the US, but you want to collaborate with a partner or other colleagues in other countries to add content that they've licensed locally to the overall data set. Or you're working with colleagues in another country using content they've exclusively licensed or obtained there. How do U.S. and foreign laws and ethical paradigms work together in these TDM scenarios? How do they impact your ability to collaborate with international researchers? Did we describe you? If your U.S.-based humanities or social science text data mining research has or would cause you to confront any of the three cross-border scenarios I just went through, then you may be a good fit to participate in LLTDMX. To learn more about eligibility and logistics, and to apply, check out our blog post at buildingllltdm.org news. 
have more questions before you submit your application, then contact scal-com at berkeley.edu. Thank you.